In this video, I'm going to show you how you can expand or extend an image using AI for free. So I actually have an AI generated image here. We're going to expand it or try and expand it together. So let's jump into it. So for this, you actually need to go to Google and you've got a couple of options, right? The tool you're looking for is AI image extender. Now I use Pixar. You just can click on that and sign up for a free account and you can extend or expand your photos right away. So go ahead and drag in your photo here. So I've got my photo open. We're just going to drag it in. Once you've dragged on your file, it will then take you to the next window. It might ask you to log in and create a free account, but once you've done that, you've then got these options to expand your image. So you can expand to an Instagram story, thumbnail, Facebook profile, banner, and so on. You can also go ahead and custom expand this if you need to. I'm going to click Instagram story and we'll see how it does. Now, this is AI and this is temperamental, right? It depends what image you've got. It can't expand every single image. It is going to have some flaws. But let's see if it expands the Instagram story. It's expanded it in a way that I didn't expect it to. It's kind of like put it as a painting and then put a room around it, which is interesting. Let's try and now change it to YouTube thumbnail and we'll see how it can do. Now you've got to remember this is AI and AI isn't perfect. There are many other AI tools you can use. Just use the search term I've shown you. But here we've expanded it to YouTube thumbnail and it seems like it's done a pretty good job actually. So if we're happy with that, we can click apply and you can go ahead and export this. So I'm going to click export and download. That's going to download the image. Now it's going to add some annoying white bars, which we can get rid of in Windows 11 by clicking edit image. And then if you go to the crop tool, this one here, you can then crop these white bars out. And then once you've done that, click save options and save. And there you go. You've got your thumbnail image expanded via AI. I hope that quick video did help you out.